Hi, I'm Julian Lara with the Tropical Fruit Growers of South Florida, and we're an association of farmers that specialize in growing tropical fruit. Now, you can find these fruits on our website, tropicalfruitgrowers.com, or you can try to find them in the supermarket. We're in a guava grove in the Redlands, an agricultural area southwest of Miami, Florida, and guavas are native to Central America, South America, and subtropical areas around the world, and also here in South Florida. Um, they usually grow about 30 feet tall, but here we keep them nice and pruned so that they are more manageable and easier to pick. In South Florida, farmers grow two kinds of guava, the white crunchy Thai guava and the soft, sweet, pink variety, which is this right here. To keep the fruits free of the Caribbean fruit fly, growers will often bag each individual fruit when it's very small. This prevents the fruit fly from laying eggs in the fruit. Some farmers will also add a foam cushioning around the fruit at the same time to protect the fruit from bruising during shipping. Now we're in the kitchen and we have some guavas. Now when you go to the supermarket, make sure you pick guavas that have you know, very little blemishes and that are firm. And remember, if you order from one of our growers, you will be sure to get the best of the best. Now, to ripen your white guava or your pink guava, it's pretty much the same. Just let them sit on the counter and let them turn a little bit yellow, let them blush a little bit, and you can tell when they're ripe and ready to eat because they're a lot softer and they'll fill up your kitchen with that sweet tropical aroma. Florida pink guavas are very delicious. They're very aromatic. They're packed in vitamin C, especially on the skin. And to eat it, you can eat it whole, seeds and everything, skin just like an apple or a peach, and, uh, or you can slice it up like this. And as you can see, they're nice and pink inside. Uh, they're kind of like, a, have like a peach consistency or like a pear consistency. Um, and they're very, very fluffy and they're like a strawberry kind of flavor. And then the Thai guavas are a little bit crunchier, a little bit harder, and you can eat them like an apple, skin and everything, seed and all, or you can cut them in slices like this, you know, or in halves. And you see how we have a, a white fleshed guava, and they're very crunchy, very sweet also packed in vitamin C. It's just hard to figure out which one you like the best. Now, besides eating guavas fresh, which is really the best way, they can be used in pastelitos, they can be used in pies, preserves, jellies, syrups, uh, and Thai guavas are used, are very good for the same uses, but are also good for brown Betty recipes. Now, to store your ripe guava, just put it in the refrigerator and it'll last you about a good week. And if you want it to last longer, you can dice it up, put it in a plastic bag, and throw it in the freezer and it'll last you up to a year. Now, guavas are very rich in antioxidants, vitamins, and fiber. And you can go to our website, tropicalfruitgrowers.com, and place an order with one of our growers to get your fresh Florida guava. That's good. I'm serious.